What's up everybody and welcome to Think Spatial, the channel that's dedicated to bringing you how-to videos on all things related to spatial technology and GIS tools. Today we're going to show you how to add custom widgets to Web App Builder Developer Edition. Um, this is an extremely useful tool if you want to use your own custom widgets or ones that the community create and incorporate them into your application. Um, instead of this, the default ArcGIS Online widgets. Um, I'm going to link this uh, website down in the description below, but this is kind of uh, this is GeoNet. This is where a lot of people post their custom widgets. Um, people can just download and use in their in their applications. Um, so if we look here, uh, if I look on the left, it says widget downloads. That's typically where I go and where all the zip files are. Um, and this is I'm going to show you one widget in particular. It's a pop-up widget um, that I use in a lot of applications, and it, I think it's extremely useful. Um, but you can look through, and there's a bunch of different options. Uh, enhanced search widget. Again, I'm going to I'm going to show you the pop-up one today. But all you need to do is click on that. And most of them have like a description uh, talking about latest enhance enhancements um, and what it's designed for. Down at the bottom, you will see the zip file. Click on that and it'll download it to your computer. And all you're gonna wanna do is unzip that. So this is in my download folder. And you'll see it right there, pop-up panel. Right click, extract all. I'm just gonna extract it right in the same location. Go ahead and hit extract. And there's the unzipped one. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is copy this, and then you're gonna go back to where you have your Web App Builder Developer Edition installed. So I have that on my C drive. I'm gonna go inside, and then once you're in that, you're gonna to go to Client, Apps, and then Widgets. And then you'll see these are all the folders for the widgets that are currently there. And all we're gonna do is just paste this one into it, and you'll see pop-up panel showed up um, in that folder. Now, now that it's in there, now we just go back to the regular one and start up that Windows batch file. And this will take you back to Web App Builder Developer Edition. This is exactly the way it's set up uh, before. And I already have one, I'm gonna just go ahead and edit that one. And this is this is a general map I have. This is, these point locations are uh, large city or larger cities in the United States. Um, I'm gonna go over to Widget, and if, you, if it's done correctly, you'll see, and there it is, pop-up panel shows up in one of the options for the widget selection. Click on that, click OK. And some of them, depending on how sophisticated these widgets are, some of them have different options. So this one, you can choose it on the top or the bottom. Uh, closing the widget up on startup, close the widget when the pop-up is cleared, uh, et cetera. And again, depending on what widget you use or which one you build, we'll, be, we'll have the different options here. So I'm just gonna hit, hit, hit OK. Um, so I'll show you kind of what this does. So when you click on it, you know, typical AGOL, uh, the, the pop-up shows up right on top of uh, where you're selecting, which is kind of frustrating if you want to see what's around it. For example, here, like if I, if I, um, if I select around Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati area, I can't see any of the information that's over here because the pop-up's blocking it. But that's what this does. Um, so you can, again, it makes the pop-up uh, free form so you can move it around the screen and you can keep selecting and it stays in place. That's pretty cool uh, and a useful, especially if you, again, if you have a lot of data on the screen like I do right here, I can click on certain cities or whatever your data is showing and the pop-up panel stays exactly where it is. Again, this is a small example of some of the flexibility you have with Web App Builder Developer Edition and using custom widgets. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. And again, you can close this out. Uh, it just acts like a normal tool and I would just save that. And now uh, it's in my web app. So. That, I think, and this is a huge tool um, if you really want to take your web apps to the next level. Um, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.